Hello there, everybody! This is the Arctic Platypus here today, and I am going over a game called Contagion. It was just fully released on Steam. It was in early access before then, but it, I think it was September? It was in September that it was released on early access on Steam. Now, it is a fully released game, and I just need to go over it with you, because that's what I do. I have a game review series, so... Why would I not review, review this? I've had it since, like, December. That's when I got it on a Steam sale. It was $3.75. Got it for a very good price. So what sets Contagion apart from other games in the genre? In the zombie genre. It is a zombie game. I know there's so many zombie games out there, but what sets this one apart? It has an extraordinarily different environment. Sure, there are probably a few games taking place in a city, but I'm, I'm referring to the feel of the game. The feel of realism and horror. First of all, the zombies in this game behave so differently than almost any other zombie game. You know how in Left 4 Dead 2, DayZ, and even 7 Days to Die, although 7 Days to Die only half of the time, zombies... Anyway, the zombies run! The zombies run! The zombies run! They sprint! Why do they sprint? They're just lifeless piles of decaying flesh. Why do they sprint? I don't get that. But in this game, in Contagion, the zombies walk, they shamble their decaying piles of flesh around the map. They are a realistic portrait of what zombies would probably behave like in real life. It's so, so satisfying to see that. Now, but you, you may think that without runners, oh, the game's gonna be so easy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This game is the opposite of easy. These walking compilations of human flesh come in mass numbers and scare the absolute shit out of me. As I was playing, I emerged from an alleyway and in front of me were just incredible numbers of zombies. I just stood there, I was like, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, I didn't know what to do. So, it was freaking scary, I just didn't know what to do, there were so many. Luckily, I think I had enough ammo to like kill them all. But there's, there's more of a challenge. These zombies will practically not die from body shots. As a survival, as a survivor in this world, you must, you must shoot those bullets through those lifeless heads, eliminating their brains, the source of their bodily functions. And as a bonus, the exit wound caused by that bullet is the most satisfying carnage of flesh you will ever see. Anyways, I was just describing the feel of the game. All of you people probably desire to see some info about the features. And as a player of a video game, I can say I'm very satisfied when I'm provided with the option to play alone, which, uh, trust me, in this game is absolutely horrifying. I had to leave the game, I was so scared, but th then I ended up joining a multiplayer match and was actually comforted by the presence of humans until one of them killed me, but that that's another story. So you can play alone with random, multi -people, random multiplayer people online or with people you know. However you want to survive, that is your choice. I would recommend some company, though, if... if if, uh, but if you do enjoy a horrifying experience, solo is just as fun. And a fairly large aspect of the game, which I think is awesome, is the fact that after your death as a human, you get to play as a zombie. You get to play as a zombie and attempt to eliminate the other players with your vicious claws. You can rip their throats out. Well, actually, it's not that gruesome. But you get to kill players as a zombie. And after that, after you play as a zombie, after some time, you you just get to fly around the map as a spectating cockroach. But anyways, I think that's like a really good way to get rid of the like the time that you have to spend spectating people. Because in a lot of games, I, I hate spectating. It's so annoying because you just sit there for a while watching people, uh, watching other people play when you're the one who wants to be playing. But you get to still play when you're not a human. It's it's really cool. And if you're not satisfied with the basic escape game mode, in which you fight through zombies to reach an escape point and get out of the zombie apocalypse, you can also free, su free survivors from areas where they're trapped by zombies, and if you absolutely despise people, then you could always play the haunted game mode, in which you murder other players as well as the zombies themselves. So ultimately, this game throws you into a tough crazy, insane landscape with horrifying and realistic zombies. You have to scavenge for weapons and supplies to fend off the zombies and their murderous infections. But do you want to buy this game? Should you buy this game? Hell yes, you should definitely purchase this amazing, awesome, absolutely gorgeous game. Peace out.